Maybe speed. <laughs> I'm the only one I know that can pop a couple of those and take a nap. <laughs> but my dreams, they're amazing. I work hard and get shit done. <laughs> and then I wake up. Ooh, productive nap. Yeah. I bought this bracelet here. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. I, it called me from like far away. It was like sparkly and I had to just go there. And uh, I bought it at the store that has the pharmacy safe inside it. Nice store. I don't know. What's it called? Oh, it is a pharmacy? The whole place is a pharmacy? Oh, <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, so um, I love this. I've never been to Bowen before. It's very, very beautiful. But you guys are really in some sort of weird time zone. I, I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> like, as soon as I got off, I, I, I drove. So I got a little bit confused. And so I did pull over a couple times to check my phone, which didn't work for very much on this island. So I had to get, you know, scramble and find a coffee shop to get some internet. And um, I stopped a lot and like, just kind of like, I stopped like I would not like someone else to stop in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of driving and looking and stuff, the stuff that makes me absolutely lose my nut, right? And maybe sometimes swear, but anyways, nobody did that. Nobody sweared at me, nobody gave me the finger, nobody honked. What is this place? It's like magic. It's a magic place. So I, re I really liked it. And then when uh, Dave drove us here, or not here, but to the restaurant, which was very good as well, uh, he passed a parking spot and so he just made a, like a big turn around in the middle of the road and that was okay too. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm stunned by this people, I'm stunned. I live right in downtown um, West End which is very beautiful. I, I do love the the water and the trees and the beauty of it but I do, I am a bit of a city girl so um, sometimes I get bored so I try to find things to do and uh, the other day I, I bought myself some scrubs and I got an old library card and put some keys around my neck and I go to the hospital and do shit. Yeah. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> I like I check out charts and draw blood and <laughs> I ask patients on a scale of one to ten, what's your pain level? <laughs> and then if they say ten, I'll um I'll go find him something. Of course, I'm gonna keep it for myself because I like pills. So, um, <laughs> so that's what I do. Uh, I also I'm, I suffer from anxiety, and I don't like a lot of attention drawn to me. <laughs> Just kidding. I love anxiety. <laughs> um, I have been a bit stressed out lately. Uh, anybody gets? You must not get any stress here. Does do people know? Probably not. There is a treatment center on this island, so some people must get stressed, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I would go find new husbands over there if they, was, if they would let me. I don't do that anymore. Anyways, that's, that's another long story, but I don't know if we have time for that. So, um, yeah, I, I went to the doctor recently because I do suffer. I'm up and down, bipolar, and... Um, Lately, I've been hitting a bit of a dark space, and I went to the doctor, and I asked him, uh, you know, what to do, and what can I do, and he said, well, I should be having lots and lots of sex, because that's really de-stressing. <laughs> so that's right, I'm just asking, I wouldn't know. Uh, I de-stress myself. <laughs> I meditate with clonazepam. What were you guys? Uh, and, uh, um, I do. I do try the meditation. Thank you. I like that you got that. Okay, so um, I do like um, meditation. I tried. I thought I would try some yoga for de-stressing, and um, I thought I would, you know, sign up for a yoga class. But before that, I would go to Lululemon and get myself a little outfit. No. <laughs> the only thing that fits me is the handbag. <laughs> it's adorable though. Um, or the headband on my wrist. Um, so I'm going to start a, a new store for bigger chicks and I'm going to 